All right, problem number seven. It says arc GH is 80 degrees. JFI 70. J to F to I 70 degrees in here. And HI 100 degrees. What is G to J? What is this arc right here? Well, if this is 70 degrees, I know right here is 110 because that's a straight line. So you have 70, 110, 70, 110. So they gave me the angle on the inside. And I know this angle was determined when it's on the inside. It's basically this arc over here plus that arc there cut in half, cut in two, so multiplied by a half. So I know this right here, this 110, the way they got 110 is it was half of this arc of GJ, which I'm searching for, plus this arc HI. Remember, we get these angles by adding the 100 plus this angle here, and then multiplying by a half. So we did this 100, which I have right here, plus this unknown. We can call it X, but I just called it JG. And then we multiply by half, and it gave us 110. So how are we going to solve this? There's one variable, just JG arc, that we have to solve for. How do you get rid of a half? You could distribute through it, but that's silly. Let's just get rid of it by multiplying by 2. It's gone. But if I multiply this side by 2, I've got to multiply this side by 2. In other words, we knew half of 220 was going to give us the 110 we needed. So 2 times that's 220. See, 220 is going to be what GJ was plus 100. Because again, I knew half of 220 would give me the 110. So I can see that this has come out to be 220. Subtract your 100, subtract your 100, and it's obvious that your answer is 120 degrees. This guy here has to be 120 because 120 plus 100 is 220 and half of that gives me the 110. And that's how we get problem number seven.